Welcome to Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy. Let's meet Sebastian near the entrance to Hogwarts and let's go to Hogsmeade. I'm really curious to see what they're gonna show me there. Uh, well, fancy meeting you here. Indeed, you too. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Indeed. Looking forward to go to Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade's. Never gonna get old. Uh, this whole environment of magic and um, passion. <laughs> hint, hint, hint. Undiscovered flu flames to unlock permanent fast travel locations and shorten the time it takes to reach new activities and locations. I guess once you I didn't even know how big the world map is gonna be, to be honest. Oh nice. Outside of the castle. Let's go! Oh, oh man, look at the entrance of the castle. Yeah, oh, so beautiful. I'm okay. just glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. Really? As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Nice fountain. I love the mountains there. It's a gorgeous scenario, you know. Gorgeous. And there's students everywhere. And there's like different houses as well. There's like yellow and green. Oh, I have to go that way. Hey, I can go into the water. Nice. <laughs> I'm all wet. I'm all wet. Oh, look at the beautiful water. Oh man, oh, man this is like awesome. You know, just in admiring the water in every game is brilliant. I love it. Look at the quality. Even the sound and the, the effects and how it moves. I love this. I know, like, playing video games is not just about the story, or like fighting, or like going from A to B, but it's also like the environment and um, appreciating the the beautiful details. Heck, people work hard for these details. Imagine like the people who just like go for every bits and pieces, just to, like make the details uh, stand out. Like, look at this benches. There's like people here in the with flowers, with butterflies, like just taking it, it's like in real life, you know, just like in real life, you take it all in, you enjoy every bit in peace. Oh, 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 okay, I can't abandon Sebastian. Okay, so I have to go back. Okay, so that's the area where Sebastian has to be. Okay, nice. Okay, the flowers as well. I just like to enjoy the environment. I love the butterflies and the flowers. It makes me so relaxed. Tranquility. The music is also like really enjoying, enjoyable. It has like that vibe of mm -hmm, orchestra. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Detention record? Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. 
Nice, nice. Oh, look, a cart. That, I guess that's just like for uh, decorative purposes, right? But I love the carts. I can actually go inside. No, no, I can't. I can't go inside. I can't go inside the carts. That sucks. Uh, hello. Look at students. Open world. Honestly, open world in video games is just like in reality. There's not much you can do to besides like going for a walk and enjoying like the promenade and the floor <laughs> and the grass and the birds and everything else and just the scenery. It's just like real world. People say, oh, you play video games, but playing video games is just like real life. You know, you go outside, what do you do? You just enjoy the scenery. So, of course, it's, you know, it's, you need to go outside to get the air and the sun. I'm not saying that you don't, but... The point is, you don't do much outside, besides what you do in a video game. Oh, this, oh look at that. So awesome. The lake, the forest. Beautiful. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me. As is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. <laughs> oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Okay. I guess that was like for me, right? Collect. Collection, lacewing flies. Lacewing flies. Oh, I love the, the, the way that you collect them. Whoa! Singing flowers! <laughs> oh, that's so good! That's awesome! I love, oh, I love the nature. I should spend more time in nature. Going into nature. Oh, more flies. Nice. I'm sorry for gathering all the flies, by the way. <laughs> Go! Keep showing the way. I follow you where you go. I'm actually surprised Rose we're gonna... Beard, from the Forbidden Forest, look! From the Forbidden Forest, whoa, What's whoa. going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. I'm surprised we're actually taking the road, the dirt road. Walking, you know, that's awesome. You usually you don't walk. I mean, this is like it feels like the Red Dead Redemption. You just walk. Wow, look at the castle, man. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely, likely already named them too. Scrub, and sugar, but I do feel like in Red Dead Redemption. Out of bounds to all students. Oh. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Me too. I'm uh, just gonna... You can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Okay, but how, how about we just... I'm just gonna activate this uh, flu. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh, I believe you. Forbidden Forest. Ministry of Magic. Dangerous. Whoa! Forbidden Forest. Dead. Dead skull. Do not enter. Let me let me enter. I'm gonna go to the Forbidden Forest. No, I can't go. <laughs> I can't go to the Forbidden Forest. Oh man. Okay. I like the entrance. You know that's it's a spooky, uh, marvelous, um, uh, whatever you want to call it, ancient. And that's where I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna like just enjoy myself. Spooky, spooky. It's actually interesting how the Forbidden Forest is in front of the castle. 
Man, the universe of Harry Potter is cool. Even though it's just a copy of other universes that came before. I mean, Final Fantasy is a good example. Or like other video games. But I know why Harry Potter managed to... You see, that's the difference. Because the other video games before, they were 2D pixelated. And Harry Potter made movies for Hollywood. And that's what made a story. A story which is normal. Nothing special. <sighs> was made awesome and popular thanks to the movies. Whoa. Have you had Whoa. much of a chance to explore the <sighs> castle? A little... It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Oh man, I abandoned Sebastian. Come on, Sebastian, I'm sorry. Oh. That is like a red dead redemption. Should just like stick with Sebastian for now. Don't go anywhere else. Wait. Um I'm gonna switch it to um recommended, I guess. Uh, it, I, I can feel that, you know, the game is struggling just a bit, so that's... I was stupid, because, like, um, when I started the game first time, uh, they made, like, this benchmark for me, and they decided that um, the global quality preset should be recommended. And then I went to Ultra, and then Ultra was bad, so I went to High. High is okay, but in certain moments the game goes, like, uh, low, um, like, slow. So instead of just going medium and low, just go recommended, because at the end of the day, that's the setting modifies the value of most graphics. So that's the way that the game, you know, they know what I have. That sucks. I mean, I have a GTX 1060, which is a brilliant graphic card. But of course, because this game came out now and my computer is from 2019, well, obviously you would need um, an RTX graphic card and like a stronger computer with processor, I guess, to be able to uh, manage everything. So recommend and apply settings. Okay. We'll go as per recommended. Um, just quickly just check if they are changed. Yes, recommended. And everything is low, unfortunately. Global quality is recommended, but what can I do? I'll just have to stick with it. Yeah, not the details that I would expect. And you can see, like, the game... You need to wait. I mean, it's still beautiful. It's just not, you know, as you move along, the rendering takes place. So, oh yeah. Well, anyway. That sucks. You know, when I bought this PC, I could play all the video games. And now Harry Potter and Hogwarts Legacy and other games that came out this year and last year, uh, I have to play them at low settings. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. And it's not bad. Uh, they're still good graphics. It's just I would really like to... When I'm going to have more money, I'll Mr. just Moon. buy a proper computer. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Huh? Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. <laughs> Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Good. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. 
Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. I understand. Hounds me Lake. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. <laughs> oh, the entrance is pretty decent. And it's your typical village in Britain, right? With like uh, small houses close to each other. Lots of witches and wizards. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Cool. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest. You can navigate using your your field guides map. Open map. Let's open map. Ah, now we're in Hogsmeade. Okay, so shows shops. Okay, so I have shops, which are those shops there, and points of interest, which are the stars. You can track any of these by highlighting an icon and pressing A. Press B to exit the Hogsmeade map. Okay. So, yeah, but where am I supposed to go? Now, ah, okay, now I have visit tomes and scrolls, Ollivanders, J. Pippin's potions, and visit the magic neep. Ah, some quests have open objectives with no compass. Just like in the normal games, we have to like pick point to manually a, a, a place on the map and just go there. Cool, so, oi, I like it. So. I mean, I can't believe I'm in a magical British village in the Harry Potter universe. That's awesome. So, um, the story quest, Ollivanders, J. Pippin's potions, Ga Gladrax wizards, whatever, Madam Selling's Tres Emporium, Brood and Peak, the Magic Neep, Tomes and Scrolls. Ah, that's what they meant. So in this case, I have to pinpoint uh, the place because it's not in orange or yellow. Okay, okay, okay. I only have it on the screen. Visit Tomes and Scrolls. Well, uh, Tomes and Scrolls. Visit Tomes and Scrolls. A specialty bookshop with wares that fulfill the promise of its name. Cool. That's the place I want to go. And I'll just save the game. I'll see you guys in the next. Uh, gameplay. This one is a bit short, guys. I just want to see how you get to Hawksmeats from the castle, and that was really quick and fast, to be honest.